Today we are going to solve this non-linear equation using a regular falsy method. So the first step is to find interval. So how to find interval? We will get one value for x. That x will be lying in between certain interval. For that purpose we write the question like that itself. Then we are going to substitute for x as 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. So when we substitute f of 0 we will get 0 cube minus 4 into 0 minus 9 that is minus 9. Then when we substitute f of 1 we will get it as minus 12. Then f of 2 we will get it as minus 9. And f of 3 we will get 3 cube minus 4 into 3 minus 9 that is 6. Then f of 4. Do we need to find f of 4? No. Because we get a negative value and a positive value. Consecutive negative and positive value. In between that we will get 0. So thus we found the interval as 2 and 3. Now we get the interval as 2 and 3 that is lying between. So we are going to write 2 as a and 3 as b and f of a and f of b. f of a means minus 9 that is a negative value less than 0. f of a is less than 0 and f of b it is a positive value that is greater than 0. Thus we complete it up to this. Then regular falsy method the formula is x1 equal to f of b minus f of a divided by f of b minus f of a numerator a and b. So this is the formula for regular falsy method. So we are going to find x1 now. Okay. So thus we get the interval. Now we need to find the value of x1. For that a and b already know. We know a is 2 and b is 3. Now f of a. f of a and f of b. f of a and f of b we already found that f of a it is minus 9 and f of b at 6. We already found that in the previous steps that f of a and f of b. Now we are going to find x1. x1 equal to a. a is 2. Then f of b. f of b is 6 minus b b is 3 not 6 3 into f of a it is minus 9 divided by f of b it is 6 then minus of minus 9 it will be 12 minus of minus plus 27 divided by 6 plus 9 that will be 2.2.6 okay now x1 we got x1 now we need to find f of x1 for f of x1 the question we need to write 2.6 Error is x replaced with 2.6. So 2.6 cube minus 4 into 2.6 minus 9. We will get it as minus 1.824. Which is a negative value. This is a negative value. For that purpose, we need to replace interval a with 2.6. So a and b are our interval. That is 2 and 3 was our interval. But now we got f of x1 as a negative value. Therefore, we need to replace interval a. Okay. Interval a is 2.6 and 3. If our if our f of x1 was a positive value then we would have replaced b but here it is a negative value therefore we replace a so we are going to find x2 now our new interval is a it is 2.6 into f of b it is already we found 6 f of a we know it is a 1 minus 1.824 so okay 2.6 into f of b f of b it is 2.6 it is a and f of b it is 6 minus b b it is 3 then f of a f of a it is minus 1.824 or divided by f of b minus f of a f of b it is 6 minus minus 1.824 we will get it as um, 2.693 then we need to find f of x2 and f of x2 means wherever there is x replace with 2.693 so 2.693 all cube minus 4 into 2.693 minus 9 we will get it as minus minus 0 0.2416 which is again a negative value for the because of that we need to replace our interval a a with x2 so a is 2.693 and b there is no change 3 itself then f of a and f of b f of b it is 6 itself no change f of a changes there that is minus 0 0.2416 now we are going to find x3 the same formula again substitute for a it is 2.693 then f of b it is 6 minus b it is 3 then f of a it is minus 0.2416 all divided by f of b minus f of a 6 minus minus 0.2416 we will get it as 2.704 then we need to find f of x4 f of x3 wherever there is x replace 2.704 2.704 cube minus 4 into 2.704 
you will get as minus 0 0.045 which is again a negative value so because of that we need to replace interval a with the 2.704 then our b will be same okay then f of b and f of a f of a it will be minus 0 0.045 and f of b it is 6 etc so then x4 again substituting we will get a into f of b minus b into f of a f of a it is minus 0 0.045 divided by f of b minus f of a we will get it as 2.706 then f of x4 after substituting we will get it as 9 minus 9.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 then if you are removing that it will be minus 0 0.009 which is approximately equal to 0 close to 0 so we almost found our root as 2.706